Friends, many of the taxation software support export of client register and related information into Excel. But what if you could directly import that into Excel by connecting to its database? So in this tutorial, I'm going to connect to the database of a software called TaxPro IT and directly pull information from it. So over to my screen. So I have taken control of my office PC via TeamViewer because that software is in that PC. So you can see TaxPro IT window here. Now what I'm going to do, if you go to this icon called second and if you click this, you can see database settings means where exactly that database is placed. Okay, so in data source is equal to name of the SQL server is written. Okay, so TaxPro internally uses Microsoft SQL server as a database server where it creates its database and stores data. And again, to connect to any of your database server, you require server side address. Now, I'm sitting on the same PC where database server is there. So you can see this, this is actually your server name. It is also here. So let us copy paste this. So I would select this control C and copy it. And let me launch Microsoft Excel. Because we would be using Power Query to connect to the database server. So let's connect. Okay, my Excel is there. So I would go to Data tab, Get Data, and in that you can see from database, from SQL Server database. So let's click and connect it. So I am assuming that you are sitting on the same PC where database server is there. So let's wait for that window to appear. Okay, so it server. Okay, so I have already copied server address. So let me paste it. And database, let us leave it optional. So I would means not enter anything because name of the database may change from version to version. So let's wait for Excel to show database list. Okay, so that we can manually connect from there. So I'll press OK. Okay, now first time when you connect, it would ask credentials. Now, since I'm sitting on the same PC where database server is there, so I need not enter credentials. Okay, you don't require any. And if you are connecting from other PC, then definitely you need to know exactly the credentials. Okay, now since I am not knowing credentials of my database server. I would simply go to this window menu. Otherwise, you can click to the database menu, enter username and password and proceed. But since I don't know my username and password of database server, so I would take advantage of sitting on the same PC of database. Okay, so I will click here windows and I would say use my current current credentials so power query will automatically fill up database server credentials because i am on the same pc so i am on the trusted machine okay so let me press connect so no username password okay just press okay because it says it is unencrypted connection doesn't matter we are on the same pc no need of an encryption connection Okay, so we can see list of the databases. So TaxPro IT is a desired or target database, I would say. So let's expand this. Okay, now here I would have to search a table called ASAC. So I'm not remembering exact table name. So let me attempt to search it by name ASS ESS. So let's see. What are the table available by this name? ACC info. So friends, this is a table which we require. Now I can directly load it into Excel, but you will get many columns and okay. And we don't require all the columns. 
I would click transform data so that I can specifically choose exact number of columns I want to see in the Excel. So let's wait. Okay, so we can see the data. Now if you click on this icon in the top right left, so you get an option called choose columns. So let's click it and just choose only few columns. So I am not interested in all these columns. Okay. So I'm interested only in few columns like name of the SEC. So something by name, SEC name. Okay. Then I would choose column pan, pan of the SEC. Then let's say you want address. I'm not getting exact address field. So let's say I want mobile. So this is again a trial error. Okay, mobile, let's say email. Okay, again trial error. So which field do you require? You'll have to keep on doing trial error for the exact field. Okay. Now let's, I have selected four to five fields. So let me press okay. So that only those fields remain. Okay, so that's it. Now we can load this data into Excel sheet. So close and load to. Okay, so I'm saying table and a new worksheet. Let's press OK. And now it will connect to the database server and load that SAC info table from tax providing. Okay, so friends. And the beauty of this is that you can, let's say, a uh, few of your SAC gets added or data gets modified. You can just refresh it in a one click. No need to repeat all the steps. So you can simply right click here and press refresh and it would again connect to date data press and pull the fresh rows. Okay, so it is a one click thing. Please try this method if you are using tax pro IT. I am sure this will benefit you a lot. And one more thing you can do. So this Excel file, if you store on one drive, so it would automatically sync. So you can even access that Excel file even from a PC outside your you know, office LAN from the cloud so that you have all your SAC information in one click. And you can even access this information from mobile because in Android and iOS, OneDrive and Excel app comes for free. So please try this and let me know if you have any queries. Thank you.